Greetings Hype News, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome to Dreamland Arcade, aka Steven Universe Dreamland Arcade. This is episode 2, and I should be saying welcome back, because I'm recording this in a really strange way this time. Wanna why? Because I'm recording this in post. Now, first of all, as you can see on the screen, I'm testing out, you know, usually when I record, I do like a 3-2-1 tap thing, just to sync the audio with the actual video, because, you know, it's different for me with app games, but the thing is... I don't know what happened. I recorded this originally with the audio still in the video, but for some reason, the episode, you know, this episode's audio just disappeared. Like, I still have it for, you know, episode one, but, you know, it, it just disappeared. So, in this episode, basically, I have to do it in post because I don't want to give you an episode with just nothing. So, by the way, right now I realize you can unlock the other arcade games by getting a thousand tickets. Now, in this game... This is called Meat Mort Master. You play as Peridot, and some of the things you get, Angry Peridot, which is a power boost, adds a junk zapping power up to the game. She looks very cute angry. And you can also get, kind of like to the other games, you can get three power ups, and I'm pretty sure two costumes for each. So basically, it's pretty interesting how this plays, because once I jump into it, I'm not sure when exactly I'll jump into it. Uh, I'll probably tell you because I, I really never am a master at post commentary. Oh, look at this. All of a sudden, boom, we're sideways. <laughs> in post, I'm definitely going to change it so that it's sideways. But, so, it's basically a tap to start game. I'm basically laughing at how Paradox looks because she looks amazingly cute. And, uh, honestly, the quality for this is really nice. I like I like how I move left and right. And she makes all these crazy weird faces. So, basically, the goal of this game is you need to stack a bunch of things on your little bucket and then you got to tap Peridot just to get more points but the higher you get it the more points you can get now avoid those green cactus things or anything that's green because they will make you lose a life no 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 i don't think they make you lose a life they just make you lose everything on your tray and also the jam things little like little i think little buckets of jam or jars of jam i'm not even sure what it is exactly i know it's jelly of some sort which basically if that hits the floor you have to swipe. You have to swipe it to get rid of it because if that lands on the floor and you start stepping into it, it slows you down just like that, and then you kick it away. So, basically, you just want to get the highest score in this game, and just try your best. Now, luckily, the actual jars of jelly they don't hurt you, but they will be a big inconvenience. As you can see, I'm swiping them away, and I'm just trying to get the biggest tower I can get. And try my best not to collect the green things. And I got 1,200 points, which gives me a whopping 260 tickets in the game already, which is honestly freaking amazing. Now, I really hate the fact that, you know, I lost the audio to this because of the fact that I really liked some of my commentary in this. I just dropped something in real life. <laughs> That's why I'm not a master at post commentary. But also, I just liked the, re the reaction I was giving this game. Like, I thought it was a really good game, and I'm. And basically, with the tickets I was getting, if I just got a nice high stack, I was getting plebbing loads. I was just getting loaded. It was going to be like, even if even if this little stack doesn't look as tall right now, just wait. I just got a thousand extra tickets. Now I'm at 460. Oh, as you saw, I just let one of the items hit the floor, which makes me lose a life. That's how you lose at least one of your, you know, one of your hearts or your lives, basically. You have three lives. And I also, if you collect one of those green things, as you saw, it just knocks out a bunch of things on your tower, which you don't want that to happen. You need to get the highest score possible. Now, it should be nearing the end of this game because now, as you can see, later in the game, it's getting a lot more chaotic, which I recommend if an item is about to hit the floor, just tap on your thing as much as you can if you can't reach it. And that's the game over. And Pair of Dot looks terrified <laughs> because now it's probably just going to be flooded with you know trash from the skies we got a whopping 542 tickets if we keep on going that same pace then we can basically get a thousand in just two games now as i said this adds a junk zapping power up to the game which basically uh, you'll see in a minute once i get that power up and also the other power ups is pumpkin the little adorable fruit star thing which is a power boost to unlock a junk magnet you'll see what that does sooner then you also have lapis lazuli or lazuli which is a power boost which blocks all bad items. And you also have costumes being a beta bear, <laughs> bear dot, which is a paradot with an awesome bow tie, the beta paradot, and then square dot, which is a costume change saying unlock square dot skin. Who is this exciting new gem? And this really piqued my interest when I first saw this. 
because the first time I heard of Square Dot was in a game known as Save the Light. You know, Steven Universe Save the Light. And then I was on I was on this like short tangent going like, does this mean this character came before Save the Light or something like that? Which I thought was awesome. So I buy the power boost. I also buy, well, I attempt to buy Pumpkin, but I'm just that short on tickets. But I add apparently another power up to the game. Boom, we're sideways again. <laughs> okay, now we got to play again, which hopefully I can get just as much tickets just so I can get at least the other power ups. Now, also, I want to say, I think I'm going to do a next the next episode, another episode similar to this, because the really bad thing about this is that since post commentary, it's like you can't hear the sound effects. And that kind of makes me sad. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try and make some consolation. What I'm going to do literally in post as you watch, I'm going to open up Dreamland Arcade and I'm just make I'm just going to play the music in the background, at least the main menu music, because it's it i don't want you to just be like in a silent phase you know just with my voice there's got to be some interactivity oh that's the cartoon network load up and that's the bird i'm just trying to load this game up and look only just for the music skip the intro okay is there really no menu music nope there it is okay so it should be a little not as silent at least so as I'm, as you see, I'm trying to get a freaking high, like a high end thingy, which I'm not sure how to really explain that, but you know what? It still works, and I think it's just going to be still as much of a pain trying to uh, stack it all up. But with that, I just got a bunch of points, 442 tickets, with nearly 2,000 points. That's a lot. But, of course, it's not going to get easier from here on out, of course. But I'm just trying to get everything. And I'm trying to find, you know, that power-up thing, which I'm pretty sure I missed. I made one of the TVs drop. I missed another tambourine. And, uh, pleb. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is... This, this, it doesn't look like it's going for me, especially... Uh, tap it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Sync. Uh, wanted to continue. Why did I say sync? Probably I wanted to sync up the audio. But, you know what? We just got 600 tickets from that alone. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure you get higher tickets from how high your thing is, but how high your thing is. Like, how high your trash pile is. Oh, we can now get the beautiful pumpkin, which is a uh, top 10 cutie of the year. And we don't have enough for lapis, but I'm pretty sure I want that. At least, I'm pretty sure myself in the past wants that in the next, you know, playthrough, if I get enough tickets. I probably should have enough, especially with the uh, uh, skill I'm going at now, which I think is the best ticket maker, which I'm pretty sure I can just play this in the next episode because I want you to hear the sound effects. And also, this is probably a way better ticket maker than the Lion Game, but I'm probably going to come back to the Lion Game just so I can, you know, get the, you know, the Island Adventure Steven costume and also the Watermelon Steven costume. Was it the Watermelon Steven costume? I'm pretty sure it was. But also, I like to get the uh, Beta Parada costume. And also, I missed the power-up. <laughs> no way I can get it again. To get the power-up, you need to stack it on top of the actual item things. So, what they do is that they actually trash the green piles of trash out of existence. Until you get the good things, which you can stack up. I got a solid 800 points, which gave me 162 tickets. Fantastic. Now, I'm also taking notice of what some of these items are. Like, you have bad eggs falling but you also have a flute a drum some of these might be instruments there's a television a bad set of eggs again which i'm losing things a baseball bat that's probably a reference to bob uh <laughs> if you understand cv universe you will get that reference a dead fish which apparently how does all this fly from the sky and you wonder why i just never noticed when i was playing the game who are, who's in the background who are those two in the background and why are they there is this like no, I don't recognize him from the show, unless if it's someone that I think, but I doubt it. Anyway, we just capped up another cheeky couple hundred points, giving us more score. And what we got to do is just pick it all up and just repeat. And surprisingly enough, I'm more than halfway through with this post recording, which honestly, I'm not comfortable with post recordings because I'm not one to fake reactions because I like keeping everything on my thing, <laughs> on my channel, basically. All real. I missed the pumpkin power up. Gosh dang it. But I got a f solid ton of points. Or aka tickets. 
Oh, now this is where those jars goof you because they just appear everywhere. Fun fact, I also realized that you can slide them or swipe them out of the air, which definitely does help. Now, you gotta deal with all these lamps, and I'm just trying to frantically tap on the things that I'm missing, and I don't think I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do it in time. I want, I want to check out the pumpkin, but all I knew is that it dragged everything down, so I thought it was bad, but... I could have watched an ad to continue, but I'm not like that. I don't want to give things the shoutouts that they need, you know, if they don't respect me for it. I'm not going to raise myself from the dead by watching an ad. All right, so now we can purchase Lapis Lazuli, which is, fun fact, another power-up kind of similar that falls down. So you're going to need to collect those. And I'm pretty sure, hopefully, in this game, it you know it will show you what all the power-ups do, at least. I hope. So let's get the baseball bat. Let's get the tambourine. That's what the instrument's called, a tambourine. Sounds like a nice jingle to it. Tambourine pancakes sound great. <laughs> I know that just came out of the blue, but I mean, they're shaped like pancakes, let's be honest. It looks like a pancake stack. And then have a baseball with a baseball bat with three pancakes and another baseball. It looks like we're making a sandwich. This reminds me of that like one WarioWare game. Where basically, you gotta stack all the things and make sure not to drop them. No, no, no. I'm thinking of, that's another WarioWare game. Uh, where you stack a bunch of blocks and make them not fall. But I'm also thinking of, oh, that hurt. I'm thinking of the game where you're in front of this desk. And this lady makes the biggest, strangest sandwich in your life. And once the top button appears, you instantly have to take it. Alright, so can I nab the... Okay, I did. Great. So now there's only, that's one of the power-ups, which, like I said before, takes out the green trash, at least for temporarily, only for 10 seconds. Now get the pumpkin power-up, which I didn't collect, uh, of course. Piper, from the past, are you seriously this bad at the game? At least collect that paradox power-up, like, thank you. That'll get the things out of the way, make you not worry. Uh, that's a symbol, pumpkin power-up, finally. Okay, so what I realized, it basically attracts all the good items towards your pile. And you get the lapis one, and what that does is that it basically stops all the green trash from your pile. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting the hiccups. I think this is probably one of my biggest things. Yeah, 16,000. That's a lot. Got 400 tickets from that alone. And I really, you should definitely rely on the power-ups, especially collecting the good things while lapis and also paradox are getting rid of the bad. It really helps. And I kind of find it humble because Peridot Lapis and Pumpkin are, like, basically a humble family in the show. <laughs> they're, they're, they're good boys. Girls. Gems. They don't have genders. Would it be considered genders? <laughs> ah, Pleb, I'm really bad at jokes. That wasn't even a joke. That was, like, something considerable. 662 points, I just realized. Because I, get, I sometimes still get shocked at something that I don't notice. Though, granted, while I'm watching this, I'm kind of turning my head sideways because, despite how you guys look at it, uh, it's, in editing, I'm going to straighten it up. Oh my gosh, look how Paradox is just screaming, just trying to move. But now everything, even power-ups are just trying to move everywhere and everywhere. Specifically down, but like, their speed is just insane. Now, I'm pretty sure... If you, if you, like, collect another power-up in succession, you won't get, you know, added time for it. At least of what I think. And I got game over. Paranaut looking insanely terrified. I'm not sure if I'm going to do one more game. I probably am going to do another one. But I, this is just prediction. I'm not sure why I'm doing this post-recording. I could have reviewed the episode back. This is probably my highest score. 800 tickets. Maybe... Watch an ad for 100 tickets, I just realized. I can't believe they'd be doing that. Well, I mean, it is... Well, did I talk about this in the last episode? Didn't I talk about how uh, I find it crazy, you know, watching ads in video games? <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with the game. I'm pretty sure. And I think I took a moment to try and... Or maybe I did in the last episode. I don't remember. I think I took a moment to read the other games. At least I was in the collection. And also, I gotta, appreci I gotta appreciate the art in this game. I mean, look at this. The beautiful, you know, golden ticket trail. Uh, the scenery for everything. I like how in the Lions Beach Racer, it's actually like a one of those, like, you know, I'm not sure what they are. They're like little, it's hard to say, maybe like a bull rider thing. Like one of those things you ride the bull on. 
or something like that. I'm not sure. Like bull, like the fem uh, male cow, basically. And then, you know, Peridot has the toilet things. And then the next episode, basically. Oh, yeah. I think now I'm just trying to look at all the games. I think. Probably not. But I know next episode I want to be focusing on Bug Hunt. But then again, I think I'm going to do that in episode 4 because I want to play a bit more Meat Mort Master just so you can, you know, hear the sound effects. You can hear the music of it. Because I feel kind of bad that you weren't able to experience the actual music of it because of the stupid audio recording. But you know what? I guess that's really it for me. So now that I have this post recording set, I can actually release this video. So if you enjoyed this episode of Steven Universe Dreamland Arcade, I promise I will do another video about Meet More Master probably in the next one and then Bug Hunt in episode 4 because, you know, why not? So subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Like the video. Share this video with your friends if you like Steven Universe. And if, why not, you know, hit the bell notification icon to receive my future notifications. But above all else, I will see you in the next video. Hail the hype, please.